routine included sneaking into the restricted areas, searching for, I don't know, whatever I could find. It was a Voltaic facility, after all. The place was built with some of the most advanced technology this country had ever developed. Those excursions never turned up anything particularly useful. So, one night after half a bottle of scotch, I broke into the overseer's office. It was easy enough to hack his console, gain access to the restricted files. Most of it was garbage. Propaganda, spy reports, just plain rambling bullshit, really. But there was one thing, one name that stood out amongst all the others. Dr. Stanislaus Braun. I knew of Braun's work, of course. He was a celebrity in his day. Voltex sorcerer scientist, leaving his peers in awe of his technological wizardry. But it was in Vault 101 that night in the overseer's office. I first learned of Braun's involvement in Voltex social preservation program and his work on something called GET, the Garden of Eden creation kit. I'm off to Vault 112 to search for anything of Braun's that might help me. All I know is that it's west of some place called Evergreen Mills, and it's well hidden in some sort of garage. But I'll find it. I have to. It's so close. But that's the story of Project Purity, isn't it? An eternity of almost theirs. Let's see if Braun has the missing puzzle piece. Cool. What was the last one? To be honest, the Gek sounded like pure fantasy, even for someone of Braun's capabilities. It was nothing short of a miracle. A terraforming module capable of producing life from complete lifelessness. But not only was this thing a reality, it was actually distributed to several vaults to be used after an atomic war. Vault 101 was, sadly, not on that list. Oh. I did some digging and discovered Braun's name on the reservation list for a Vault 112. And no slouch, but this man, he could have easily succeeded where I failed. Does his collected knowledge remain within the halls of Vault 112? Journals, hollow tapes, computer records, maybe even experiments. If I could gain access to just a fraction of Dawn's genius, Project Purity would become a reality. I just noticed when I was repairing the stuff, it managed to get away from oh cool managed to get away from the hot key come on all right to vault 112 then Actually, I'll go do some side quests for this. I feel like just going and just doing some random quests for really? actually. Sorry? We've got nothing to say to each other. Sorry. Holy cows. Someone's a jerk. Staying out of trouble, I hope. Don't want to have to waste good bullets on your sorry hide. Gary up. No, there's some quests you can do in here. What's my status looking like? Neutral adventure. Am I sad? There we go. Let's do that survival guide. Why not? 
I've never actually finished it when I've ever played Fallout 3. The same with that, uh, though some of the DLCs, like, I played The Pit, I finished The Pit on the PS3. I played, oh god, it's locked. What else did I play? I played The Pit, and I started Broken Steel. That was it. Oh, feeling a bit under the weather, or a bit over the Geiger counter? <laughs> oh, wait. Not... Yeah, I'm afraid that's not... Oh. Alright. I got my eye on you. So what, what do I have to... What's the quest? So I have to get 600 rads. Depends, how much rads do I get down here? Hmm. Two rads per second. That means I'd have to be here for 300 seconds. 300 seconds. 300 seconds. There's gotta be some food I can eat as well. Um. Oh, I don't wanna eat my drink my quantums. They're good for something later on, I believe. What are my rads at? Rads are at seventy nine. Great. Rad resistance, damn it. There's got to be somewhere I can go where there's higher radiation. Trying to think. Who have we here? I am Confessor Cromwell, prophet of Atom and father of the Undying Glow. Please, child. Hey. You asked where the parts came from to build the town? Behold! I heard there used to be an air station he is somewhere coming around here with the clouds! The war. And mm -hmm. every eye shall what be are you blind gonna do, huh? with his glory. Anyway, I should get every going. Take ear care. Shall be stricken Bye. Deaf oh, cool. To hear the thunder of his voice. Let the men, women, and children All right, of the earth... There's got to be an easier way. Let's go to that town and see if we can find Ethan near that. Come. Right now, I'm just exploring, really. Bunch of bad guys over there. Don't want to go over there quite yet. Well, just don't want to go over there right now. I probably will. Just don't feel like it. Hmm. Hmm. Don't know. Let's 
There's gotta be somewhere. That's gonna like glitch him out because there's bandits up there and he's gonna. Oh, I thought this here was a pond. It's up there. Oh my god. All this time I played that game, I've never heard that noise before. I wonder if there'll be mire lurks down here. There's someone good. Oh. You start playing music, you're dead, because you're the one who gets me copyright. Oh, that's it. Mmm, yummy. What am I at, though? Two thirteen. Almost getting there. I'm sure, you guys don't want to watch this, so I'll start recording when I get it. All right. All right. So we're back. Uh, we got the. Oh, hey. <laughs> kind of busy here, but I guess I can talk for a bit. What? What's up? Oh, feeling a bit under the. I can tell you're positively yeah, I glowing. Yeah, I sat there for a while now, drinking. Now, just hold on and try not to move. Tell me how it feels. You're a mighty lucky one, you know that? At this state, most people have trouble standing up, much less walking over here. Now, let me take a few notes, and I'll handle that nasty radiation with a bit of my own homemade rad cure concoction. I've never had a chance to test it out on someone so heavily dosed, but I'm sure it'll work out fine. <laughs> Exciting, isn't it? Okay, a little Brahmin milk, a couple magnets, and maybe a few happy thoughts. Well, you're alive! Oh, that's the good news. But there was a little side effect. A teeny Mutation. tiny... Mutation! Um, Mutation. Uh, but it seems to be benign. It Here, take a few radiation chems. As my little way of saying, I'm sorry I twisted your DNA like a kitten with a ball of yarn. Rad. Moore's experiment had a... Now you suffer from advanced radi crippling limbs and all. Crippled limbs automatically regenerate. Wow. Cool. That was helpful. Landmines are one of the few dangers out there that you can profit from. Disarm one before it blows, and you can sell it for plenty. I've heard stories about a ghost town that's just full of mines. Traders just call the place Minefield. Sounds like the place for some field work. Get in there, get back, and tell me all about it. And could you bring back a mine for my studies? All right. Oh, don't worry. No one ever goes there because they say it's a ghost town. And since ghosts don't exist, you can just focus on the landmine. 
I hear there's a playground in the middle of town. Reach that point and come back, and I'm sure you'll have some stories to tell. Some say it was all a hoax, but it's real. Here, check out this holotape I found. That Commonwealth robot was real. Oh, wow. Oh, thank you. You just helped me with, like, two quests. Remember that secret Android project I told you about? Well, they got some serious pre-war tech on their hands. They nabbed a lipoplasticator and a microdermal graftalizer for the facial reconstruction. Not sure where they'll find a chopper with enough skills to use I it without making it look like a freaking ghoul. Oh, and get this. Can you believe they found a circuit neuralizer? That or someone built one. Word is that they're going to completely rewire the brain of one of those things. If you know who they got working on this, let me know. I want to meet the What's guy. What's up? Oh, cool. You're looking for the mayor or the sheriff? Don't think that helped me on the quest, though. Come forth and drink the waters of the glow. For this ancient weapon of war is our salvation.